<laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Belo back again with my newest New Gear Day showing off show and tell. I have for your viewing pleasure the Vox MV50 and the Rock configuration. This little tube amp is exactly that a little tiny tube amp. In comparison to the orange Micro Dark. It is so much smaller. If you can see, it's sitting on top of my PV Piranha, right? This is a 6505 Piranha. And this little Vox new tube rock configuration will fit inside of it. Look how small that is. This little lamp kicks so much ass as you heard the chugs just now and all the ripping rhythm and searing just shrill and goodness this is exactly what i always say about vox right your 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 classic vox and fender classic design amplification boosted with a badass pedal up front is absolutely unbeatable okay and on this little rock configuration amp, new tube amp, it does not disappoint. This thing's amazing. I was really hesitant because it's two hundred dollars. On do I want to get the AC thirty one or the rock one? Now, with my experience with the Vox AC thirty, the real one here, the C two, the big one over here that's turned sideways. When I throw my Friedman in front of it, it just goes all the, all the way to heaven. Right, it's like heaven pedal for me, heaven sound. And so I already have an AC30, so I didn't buy the Vox AC MV50, right? I went ahead and got the rock one. And I'm so glad I did. I still want the AC one, and so maybe I will buy the AC one eventually. But right now, I am so incredibly happy with this rock pedal. I can't begin to tell you how amazing it sounds. So what you've been hearing all around this little clip is the Friedman BEOD pedal in front of it, right? And then also, I have my flashback um, mini delay. So, so the signal chain is like guitar, tuner, noise gate, Friedman, a couple of other drive pedals that I'm not messing with right at this moment, and then the flashback, and then into the amp. So let's hear what just the amp sounds like with a pretty basic tone. <laughs> You have to excuse my cat's tail blocking blocking the controls of the guitar. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That was my chorus pedal. That's an old Electro Harmonics EV uh, or E8 EH Nano clone. It's not a clean pedal. Hope it doesn't do that when I turn it off. Yeah, so that's that's this awesome amp no no dry pedal running the cathedral reverb the electroharmonics cathedral Let's throw the EP booster in front of it.
Yeah. That's the EP booster in front. It reacts a lot better than my AC30 does. But then again, this is the rock iteration and it's not a it's not a big tube amp. This is just a little new tube as they call it. Little tiny micro amp and it's incredibly amazing. I have to say, out of all the micro amps out there between the orange, the um, PV6505 Piranha, the Vox is the best and I knew it was going to be. I'm really eager to see where Vox goes with this. I hope they make more amps, like maybe even a modeling amp. Yeah, I really enjoy this amp a lot, and I'm telling you, for $299, like like I've said before in some of my previous videos featuring these amps right here, this little orange and then the PV Piranha, they're kind of gimmicky, and they just don't deliver what this thing does. What this thing does sounds like a real tube amp, and I think it has everything to do with the voltage, because... Um, I'm not talking about high voltage. I'm talking about voltage that's congruent to push the tube, the new tube. Because what happens is when you have pedals that have a tube on them, like a tube drive pedal, it's not using the tube the way an amp would in a preamp. And so it's kind of a gimmick. And there's no way that these little amps are pushing that tube. The transformer is so small. It's like a laptop transformer. There's no way that the transformer on these little Piranha and orange tube amps are pushing that tube to get the full benefit of having a tube in the preamp, right? It's, so it's a gimmick is what I'm saying. But with this new tube, because it's like an LED tube or some type of OLED tube, um, the voltage is able to surpass the handling requirement of the tube. And so then you get the rectification of the preamp signal. I turned off my EP booster, so we've got just straight amp. So let's crank up some gain. And so there's that classic Vox chimey. switch on, I'll turn it off. Deep switch on. This is just the amp and the delay pedal. I'll turn the delay pedal off. the way this amp sounds with the gain up I f hear that noise and I don't like the way it's compressing the signal with the clipping diodes coming in turning it around squashing it and clipping it back out I don't like that you on, on a humbucker guitar with medium high output pickups it, you clearly hear the compression which is a negative for me I don't like that Now we're running through my Marshall 4x12 in there. And this is in the 16 ohm configuration. I really don't like 
like how it mitigates that delay pedal up front. I really wish they would have made this with a either an onboard delay or with a, an effects loop so I could have my own delay in the effects loop. Where I really believe this amp shines is really this configuration right here where the gain is at 9 o'clock, the, the, the tone is at 3 o'clock, and the volume is at 3 o'clock essentially, or 9 o'clock. That's my favorite configuration. I really have no use for the deep switch. I think the deep switch is more suited for single coil only guitars. Like I said, I like the amp and it's low um, gain configuration. So we heard the AP booster and we heard the freedom and now let's try the green mile. like it that with the green mile that it gets still hungry for more gain I've primarily had my Green Mile in the boost configuration with toying with the with the gain from, you know, num level one to like level four, you know. What do you think about that, huh? That's the electro harmonics cathedral with the flashback. Yeah, let's go to a preset of mine. <laughs> I 
It's so fun doing this with your toes, right? There we go. Yeah, so it's like my take on this is like a Vox AC30 metal. It starts at the top boost, cranked, and then as you just dime it up, man, it just goes crazy. <laughs> Trails, right? That's just the amp and, the, and a delay pedal. Like I said, it has some of that compression in there once you really start goosing the amp. So, last pedal on the table here is the Golden Plexi. Let's see what happens here. That's like not bad at all. The only problem is that pedal is really loud in terms of like the sound. You hear that? Yeah, what do you think, man? This thing is crazy good, huh? Vox Rock MV50. A total home run in my book. I mean, I honestly feel like I'm dreaming because this pedal is so amazing, or this, this amp is so amazing. You could put this amp on the pedal board and it would sound amazing. Now, when I first got it Friday, I tried it with the headphone only output. And this is before I put my Friedman in front of it. And I really didn't like the way it sounded. So I'll do some more testing on that and report back how I feel. But with the Friedman BEOD, this amp sounds absolutely phenomenal. And it doesn't sound bad with the Golden Plexi either. Um, one hell of an amp for 150 bucks or $200, you know? Um, when these things get to the used market, in six to eight months and they're like 150 or something like that totally worth having it i believe that the metal tone on this is very much comparable to my uh 6505 mh in terms of my palette and desire like i really enjoy the tone of this and the tone of that like those two are my favorite now metal tones of all time so that's been this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This